Well, guys, another day, another problem in Gold Rush the game. As you can see, it is extremely cold out right now, negative 12 degrees, and I have hit a standstill. Look at this. I can't actually dig through the crust now because it is so frozen. I'm trying. The hydraulics are doing the best they can, but I am pretty much at a standstill. Now, I wonder if we can probably still get the side, right? So, I don't think it's totally... No, it's done. I can't, I can't even get the sides if I wanted to. Uh, I thought that would be okay because it doesn't actually have frost on it. Uh, but no, we're into some serious issues now. Now, I said in the last episode I would do a bunch of mining off recording, but obviously, being that this situation just happened, I thought we would uh, kind of troubleshoot it like, together. Obviously, the bulldozer should hopefully fix this issue. I didn't think we would have to use the bulldozer until uh, the permafrost actually hit in six days. But it looks like even non-permafrost will affect us. So what I'm going to do, and I'm hoping this works, because if this doesn't work, I don't know what the hell we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to have to bring the bulldozer over here, try and rip up the top ground, and hopefully that's enough to start digging in the hole before it freezes over again. Now, I don't know what happens if it freezes over again, because there's no way I'm going to be able to put a bulldozer in a giant hole. Uh, so we're probably going to have to get a lot of this top ground done throughout the winter. Even if we don't want to, because we can only pick and choose uh, what's flat and what's bulldozable. So yeah, if you're ever wondering why they don't generally gold mine in the winter, especially in Alaska, this is pretty much why. It's damn near impossible. Oh, I got 1% in there? How did I leave 1% in the damn thing? Alright, so you're my only saving grace, Mr. Bulldozer. If you don't work, we're seriously at a standstill. We might only be able to mine during the daytime when it gets warmer out. Uh, I'm hoping that will happen anyways. I don't know. It depends on the temperature. Actually, the temperatures dropped drastically or increased drastically. Uh, we're at negative 4.2 now, so maybe I could mine now? I have no idea. We're obviously going to bring the bulldozer over, though, uh, because we're going to need to use this thing. All right, please tell me you can rip through this stuff. We're going to find out pretty quickly here. I'm still mining at the same place, obviously. We got all these little squares. That's really what we're going to target, so... I'm just going to start here uh, and drop this thing down into the ground, and we'll see what happens. Okay, it does look like it's doing something. You can see it's vaguely... It's very hard to see because it's nighttime, but it is changing the color of the snow. So, I think it's working? You can kind of see that line. I wish it was daytime, but I can't pick and choose right now. We got to mine whenever we can. Now we're in the light, so you can kind of see it's very hard to tell, but I'm thinking that's ripping it up. I'm actually lagging a lot by doing this. Uh, so it's got to be doing something. I mean, the lag is there for a reason. So we're going to rip up. Oh, see, this is the problem. This is what I was talking about. This is why I need flat ground. I'm going to get the damn bulldozer stuck in here. All right, so we want to go kind of right here. Drop down. Oh, is it already down? Yeah, I had it down the whole time there. No wonder why it was so hard to turn. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to start here and start ripping this all up. I mean, it's doing something, and I, I was hoping you could visually see it turn back into dirt. I mean, some of the snow is going away. Maybe you got to do multiple passes, too. That would be a nightmare if that's the case. I mean, you never know with this game. Uh, it's an extremely difficult simulation game, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually did it that way. Oh, brakes don't work! Uh, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> I tried stopping, but there is almost no brakes on this damn thing. All right, well, we're down here. Let's rip up this ground as well. <laughs> That's not going to work. Okay, let's try that again. This thing's got an extremely fast reverse gear. Stop! Stop! St why doesn't it stop? Oh, my God. Like, I started hitting that at the top of the hill, and it just, it just kept full force backwards. All right, well, clearly this thing doesn't want to work with me right now, so you can stay down in the damn hole. There's something blocking the door. Move your machine to be able to leave it. Man, I'm trapped in here. I can't even freaking leave. All right, just out of curiosity, now that it's warmer out, can we actually mine? No, it is still, as you can see, hard. I can't actually penetrate the ground. So even when the temperature comes up, I'm thinking we're going to run into this issue all the time throughout the winter now. So this should be fun. The question is, how long does this bulldozing last where we have to re-bulldoze the ground? And are we going to be able to even mine at all in the holes that we've built? Because, as you could see at the start, I couldn't actually mine that stuff. Let's try, because I got so close right here. Can we actually... Yes, as you can see, we can mine again. Thank God. But 
That's just another process we have to add. So we are going to be much slower at mining now. Hopefully I can start digging in this hole and I can beat the frost for at least a little bit of time. I think it's going to be probably every day that we have to do that bulldozing thing. Um, yeah, we got to learn how to use the brakes on the thing because I'm going to kill myself on that damn thing. All right, so let's get back to earning gold. Uh, we're going to try and earn as much as we can today. I know I said I wanted to uh, pay off that loan before the next episode, but obviously we're having ground issues right now. And I always share the issues that I have in this game with you guys. So we're just going to park this right here. That should be good. And get back to digging. Oh, man. See, the problem is even like this this core side, I... Oh, there we go. It actually did break through. Uh, but it's much harder to penetrate the sides now because I didn't actually technically rip up that with the bulldozer. But it looks like if you play around with it a little bit, you actually can. So we're going to try and connect to that big hole, obviously, and expand out on that, not add another hole. All right, so now that I broke open the surface, it's not so bad. It's just that top frost you got to worry about. Now I can pretty much easily get a full thing every time. You can see a little lag there. I don't know why we're lagging now. Uh, but at least we're getting dirt. That's the important part. And we should be able to fill up these trucks pretty quickly, assuming we don't have another major freeze like we did last night. Or, well, I guess technically it's still 4 in the morning, so tonight. Well, I just noticed uh, we got something wrong with the excavator. So far, so good, as you can see. This is kind of our new hole here, and we got all the way down to bedrock. Having a little bit of a hard time digging now. I'm not getting full buckets, as you can see. I'm not sure if that's because of the frost or what. It is cold out once again. It actually is getting warmer, which is nice to see. Uh, rapidly getting warmer, actually. It was down to uh, negative 12 once again. But, like I said, we got issues right now, so let's see what's going on with our actual excavator here. Um, let's open up the top. Let's see if we can get up there. I really wish there was an easy ladder to climb this thing, but there really isn't. Okay, thank God the engine isn't broken, it doesn't look like. I'm thinking maybe it's the battery or something. Uh, I don't know any other compartment bays besides the battery bay at the front, so we'll check out that real quick. If I don't get stuck in the damn tracks. All right, battery, are you the issue? What's the issue here? Hydraulics? Maybe it actually is the hydraulic lines. Let me actually get my part analyzer out, see if I can figure out what's going on here. All right, do we got anything here? These hoses, they look good. They'd be bright red if they weren't. The part analyzer works like 10% of the time, it looks like. So it's not actually working right now. I'm not seeing any red, though. Should I keep going? Maybe it's the teeth? Oh, it is! Oh, God, don't fall. I'm sliding. I'm sliding! Okay, jump. Okay. Um... I finally broke the teeth. You guys have no idea how many times I've hit bedrock. I just assumed this thing was immune. But no, clearly going hard in the winter is dangerous. Uh, we should probably just bring this thing over to the ground here. Let's go. That's what I didn't want to happen. I mean, you can only appreciate the size of the holes when you can actually see the sides from down here, though. Like what? That's got to be 20 feet, at least. And, I mean, it's just... How am I going to get out of here? I'm going to get stuck. The ground's not even loading in for me. I hope there's only one, because I'm going to have to manually bring all of them over if there is more than one. So let's go do that. You know what? Let's also... I want to go back to the workers. I've been avoiding the workers because they don't freaking work. Um, but I want to try it again. So we're going to go to a waiting here and see what these guys can do. Price, uh, work 19%, tier 1 mobile wash plant. Now we want things that will help me. So for example, excavator will help me. 679 bucks a day. That's how much I have to pay them. Do we have any really hard workers here? I want to see like a duplex jig. Not bad. Uh, what's Joey going to do for the duplex jig though? Let's see in a second here. Mechanic. We can just get an ordinary mechanic. What, what, what would that give us? See, it doesn't actually explain what we get for each of the special or their specs. So I'm not really sure what a lot of these guys do. I don't like the fact that nobody really wants to work though for more than like 20%. Duplex jig guy. Definitely want to hire this guy just to see what's going on. So we'll go to hired real quick. We're going to put him on parcel two. I'm going to assign him to that. Now he's going to auto swap buckets from area nearby. That has never worked for me. And honestly, it's not something I need anyways. So the fact that we don't get money off of these guys anymore until we're just going to fire them. There's no sense. There's absolutely no sense. But maybe, just maybe, one of these guys will actually do really well. So, for example, Mechanic, maybe that will help with repairs. Even if it only works 11%, it 
It's a thousand bucks a day, though, so let's see what he does. Um, slowly repairs your most destroyed equipment at the high cost of maintenance. Well, that might come in handy, so let's assign him for the time being. Mechanical slowly repair your most damaged parts on the parcel he is assigned to. Obviously, we put him on parcel two because we're not at parcel one anymore. Um, I hope he'll work hard. I don't even... The thing is... The bucket changing thing didn't work for me, so I don't even know if this guy's gonna work, and it's not gonna be like I can just check my 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 worst part because all my parts are basically dead right now. Uh, so I don't know what he's gonna be working on. But a lot of you guys have been asking me to do some workers, so I'm gonna try and get some workers in here that will help. It's just it costs so much, and they really don't add that much to me, anyways. Now the dump truck guy, I'm curious. We'll hire him. We'll see what he does. So that just gives me movement speed. If I level him up, malfunction rate goes down, but I'm hardly ever in the dump truck, therefore it's not going to break down. If it was the excavator, I think I would keep him, but we're going to fire him just because the upkeep daily is just, it's not worth it. Now, what is this guy again? I accidentally, I think I accidentally got this guy because it's a mobile wash plant, so we're going to fire him. Sorry, dude. So I'm assuming this is their XP bar. I, I guess that's what the 29% is. It's the XP that they need to upgrade to the next level. Now, malfunction rate will be nice. And, um, yeah, I, I guess we just really have to level up these guys to really benefit from them. What does uh, mechanic repair equipment faster? Mechanic repair equipment faster. So we got a mechanic. I think these two are definitely worth it. Now, is there anybody else that we really want? Sluice box? Again, we'll see, and then we do, we're do. we not using a mobile wash plant, so we're going to reject that. That just changes buckets anyways. And Trommel, it's probably just uh, to help with breakdowns once again, but we'll see. So we assigned all those guys. What does this guy do? Auto swap mats on sluice box when they are full. How does that work, though? Do we have to put the mats somewhere else? Because that sounds actually really good. So some of these guys, I think, definitely are good. Other guys, not so much. The question is, do they work or not? Because the only guy that I've tested didn't actually do his damn job. All right, so we at least hired some guys now. That should help us out a little bit. All right, let me fix that tooth for you there, bud. Uh, are these actually bolted in somehow? I can't pull it out, so I'm assuming crowbar's generally the answer with things like this. There we go. Pop it right out. Just like a real tooth extraction. I'm, I'm an excavator dentist right now, I feel like. All right, there we go. Just slide that one in. Do I need to crowbar it or anything? Or are we good to go? No, don't pull it out. No, keep it. It's, it's good. It's good. I, I lied. All right, we're good. Oh, would you look at that? The mechanic is working on my truck, so I think it actually is working, or I wouldn't know that the mechanic is here. So that's cool. So at least some of the workers seem to actually work. Uh, I'm definitely going to buff up that mechanic thing, because that's probably the best guy. Dealing with the amount of breakdowns that I've had to deal with lately, I've spent more money on that than probably paying off my damn loan. Uh-oh. Did I break another tooth? I'm hearing these weird ting sounds. I didn't even hit the ground this time. I know that because we're not even close. Ah, uh, so yeah, the coldness. Oh my god, it is broken. It looks like I can probably still mine. So I guess we'll get this done later. Oh yeah, it's so much harder to actually extract the dirt though. So yeah, I don't even have to hit the bedrock now uh, to break this thing. It's not warning me, but I'm actually breaking teeth just by how hard this dirt is. Ah, oh, Mother Nature, you just never stop during the winter, do you? So yeah, it probably would be smart to get those reinforced teeth if we plan on uh, mining for these next six days, which we obviously do. Oh, did I just break another one? Okay. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> oh my god. So maybe I shouldn't use this thing when a tooth is broken. I'm, I'm This is my final dump truck. I just, I'm gonna keep going. I know this isn't smart, damn it, but I don't want to go all the way back to have to buy a couple teeth only to come all the way back here to fix them. I just want to get my gold, damn it, before the day ends. All right, come on. Just survive one more little bucket. I got to actually, like, grind it against the wall to get a full bucket. Obviously, this is not what you're supposed to do. Do not follow what I do. Uh, I'm just so sick of doing repairs at this point. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's like at least twice a day. All right, 98%. That's good enough to me. We're going to do some more teeth extraction uh, if we want to do any more gold mining. But God damn it, man. I'm really starting to regret this loan. Don't get me wrong. It's nice to have all this cool equipment. But uh, we could have slept through the winter like a big old bear 
and had this great ground, not had to worry about the coldness or the freezing water or any of the breakdowns or anything like that. But no, I had to get the biggest freaking loan I could possibly get from the bank. So I, I don't even remember what I was buying, if I'm honest. Was, was it the conveyor belt? I don't know. I, ho I hope it was worth it. All right, but we should get 100% after this bucket or close to it. It's usually not perfectly at 100%. I think we're at 75% right now, so we should get like 95 as per usual. There's our final bucket. Oh, I mean, it, it has been a nice day. Aside from the breakdowns, absolutely beautiful out. So I guess I can't really complain too much. And it did get warmer, so I actually got some more uh, water in our watering tank, which is always good as well. All right, but let's get this done, man. All right, we also had a weird problem. Uh, usually these things all fill up at approximately the same time. I've already got 100% in the grates, so that tells me that we got some big gold nuggets in this run uh, because the first extraction point is for all the big nuggets. They get stuck in between these grates. It already has filled up. What are we at now? Yeah, just 2%. I put it all in the bucket over here, so let's probably go grab a, a new bucket. Uh, I'm hoping that means we have a really good payday. I have no idea. I've never had that happen, though, where I w was getting so many more in the grate as compared to everything else. Okay, we're back. And another clean-out, obviously. Uh, this time we got a couple more buckets, so this is exciting. Uh, we actually extracted too much gold that time, at least hopefully. Now, last time we got about 1,500. Again, I'd be really happy with 1,500 again. We'll be slowly paying off our loan and getting a little bit of profit per day. As you can see, we got 25 grand right now. Uh, but nighttime is quickly coming, and we need much more money to pay off of our loan. So hopefully we can do that. Here goes the first bucket, and we are earning gold. That always feels great. The first bucket, when you start seeing that gold go from zero to something else, is really, really good. Now, that's probably a duplex jig bucket. Usually they are. I don't know why, but I'm really lucky at getting the duplex jig ones first. Uh, yeah, it's looking like it's stopping. 117 we getting? Ooh, a little more? Hey, this is good. This is a good sign. 141. If that was a duplex jig bucket, that's the most profitable duplex jig we've ever gotten. Therefore, the whole system should be a little bit better. At least on paper, that's how this works. All right, not sure what this bucket was, but definitely more profitable than the other bucket. What do we got? Uh, do, do, do. 575. Okay, I don't know what that would be. I actually have no idea because if it was the main uh, moss mats, it should be like 800, I'm thinking, with the amount that was in the duplex jig. I could be wrong, though. Uh, but still, can't complain. I'm already at close to 800 grams of gold, and we're only three buckets in. Hopefully, we can keep this up. Damn it, I did it again. Okay, we got another 141 grams, so that's definitely duplex jig and our most profitable duplex jigs ever. So this is getting me excited, to say the least. We should be getting quite a bit of magnetite, too. I haven't actually ever really compared that. It just kind of goes in this bucket and slowly stacks up. And bam, we officially passed the 1,000. This is probably another duplex jig. Now, I know these small buckets are going to be quite good for the amount that they got in them, so we're going to keep those to the end. Is that actually it? Okay, we did everything else, I think. Yeah, it makes sense because we're already over 1,000. So let me just make sure. We don't want to waste any gold, obviously. These ones should be big payers. I mean, at least compared to the dirt that they have inside them. All right, so 141 grams of dirt. Did I do anything? No, I've, I've been wasting time. Okay, let's drop this bucket in here, I guess. And there shouldn't be much in this bucket at all, but it should be the good stuff. All right, so yeah, we got 40% in the bucket. 40%, I'd be happy with 100 grams. We're at 1139 right now. Uh, whoa, oh, oh, it's slowing down. I don't know. I honestly don't know what's going on with these buckets. That was actually about 100, 86 grams. So that was a real small bucket, though. That was probably the 15% yield at the end that we had when we were cleaning out the grates that were not totally filled. So let's see what this bucket does. If this doesn't do any magnetite, it looks like... Well, the magnetite is going up quite a bit, actually. So I don't know what that bucket would be. Wow, 12,000 magnetite. So this has to be the moss mat bucket, I'm thinking. I don't remember getting magnetite in there, but clearly we did. All right, here we go. Can we pass 1,500? I'm thinking this might be our best payday yet. It's hard ground out there, but man, there is a lot of gold in that ground. Look at that. We just passed 2,000 in one clean out, man. This is a dream come true. 896 grams in that little bucket. And we got one little bucket to end off with. I'm totally happy, though. We don't even need this bucket, and I'd be happy. Um, zero grams of magnetite, so again, this is probably a great bucket. Let's see... 
Can we get 2,200? Yes, we can. Wow, in that little bucket alone, there was 108 grams. That is absolutely crazy. By far our best clean out yet. So if we might be having bad ground. We might be having to deal with Mother Nature. But man, we're bringing some gold out of the ground, and that feels real good because we're actually not at the best plot of ground. So I don't know why it's working for us, but I'm not complaining. I'm a happy camper right now. This should be quite a good payday, all things considered. Now, temperatures have dropped. It said the water was freezing again, so let's just go see if we're still getting water. If not, we'll obviously turn off our system as we go and smelt this stuff. And yes, it has frozen over once again. Added a little bit more to the tank, though, so that's always good. All right, let's see how much we earn today. Now, uh, obviously, this is a really good payout, so I'm excited. Please tell me the stock. Wow, stock has never been lower. Great, great. Uh, but yeah, we got, as you can see, almost four max gold bars, so not bad, not bad at all. We're going to sell that stuff, and we should be nearing, I'm hoping, 100 grand. Oh, yeah, we were well over 100 grand. Hell yeah, dude. But it should take us between, I would say, four and five days to actually get the rest of this. Obviously, if we need four and a grand, we earned about 80 grand today. Uh, yeah, and I'm thinking five days. And, well, we have six days till the permafrost, so if my math is correct, as long as we don't fail too much, we should have everything we need to pay off this loan before we officially can't mine anymore. At least I don't know if we can. We might be able to blow those through the permafrost. But honestly, I just want to sleep through the winter like a big old bear, like I said, and have the benefit of having nice weather uh, to mine. So at least hopefully we can do that before the firm permafrost. But yeah, we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. I know once again it was another mining episode, but like I said, this winter update or whatever you want to call it has totally pretty much stalled my progression. We're surviving it, but just, and we should be okay at least, so that's exciting, and obviously breakdowns and stuff like this is always fun to watch as well. So, hopefully we can pay off this loan by the next episode. I'll probably once again do a bunch off recording. I just wanted to show you that the ground froze over, which is why we're recording this episode. Um, hopefully by the next episode I should have the loan paid off and we can focus on buying things like Frankenstein once again. So yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.